We have one stock which was on lower circuit yesterday was ITD Cementation because the numbers were much below market estimates. Uh, we have the CFO of the company, S. Ramnath, now joining us. Uh, Mr. Ramnath, good morning. The, the net profit was 5 crore, market estimated 18 to 20 crores. Uh, what went wrong in the quarter? Well, uh, first and foremost, good morning to you all. Uh, first and foremost, I have been telling all our... Uh, uh, I've been communicating to the investors through your channel that uh, uh, in an industry like ours, construction industry, one should not look at results quarter on quarter. Uh, traditionally, December, uh, this June quarter, which is the second quarter for us, you know, you may be aware that our accounting year is January to December. So June and September quarters are normally the quarters which are lower. And the first, that is the March and the December quarters are the highest, almost 60 60% of our revenues come in those two quarters, and June and September are lower in intensity in terms of execution of projects. Now, having said that, uh, there is one of the uh, a couple of reasons have contributed, and this is not something uh, which is going to be, uh, you know, uh, continuing. Uh, our margins in this quarter are lower for the reason that our overall revenues consolidated in this quarter has been 15% lower than the March, March revenues. At one March was about 1,015. Uh, Mr. Ramnath, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, what Anuj was pointing out was actually year-on-year -year comparisons. If second quarter is seasonally weak, it should have been seasonally weak last year as well. But yeah. you are down on an EBITDA level year-on-year. -year. We are not even comparing quarter-on-quarter. -quarter. No, actually, quarter-on-quarter, uh, -quarter, yes. I mean, uh, December, if you see last year, you're talking of margins. Yeah, let me come to margins then. No, margins and all, EBITDA are down from last year's Q2. Uh, so we were wondering why. Yeah, that is right. But then I, that is what I'm saying. Because the different types of projects. Now, there are the specific reason our margins. If you see our results, we have in this quarter recognized a loss on sh our share in the joint venture of 22.4 crores. Okay which in the previous year's quarter was 4 crore profit. Okay. Okay. So Now, these are, as I have been explaining earlier, this year we have been facing certain execution challenges on some metro projects mm -hmm. that we are under completion now. Mm -hmm. They should get over by this year. That I have been communicating. So if you take away that, mm -hmm. our margins this year, if you take away that kind of a loss, which is good, probably getting wind down, the projects are getting over now. Mm -hmm. uh, only about 70, 80 crores of uh, work remains. Can you just quarter. repeat that loss figure, sir? Pardon me? 22.4 ah. crores okay. is the uh, downside on the joint ventures that we have taken in this quarter Fair. against a profit of 4 crore last okay. in the comparison. Tell us, uh, you were telling us about the execution challenges on metro projects that has impacted your margins. That's Once right. the uh, situation gets resolved, then what kind of margins do you see over the next two quarters? So this uh, two quarters, uh, second quarter will be muted because of monsoon. Mm. But last quarter will be very good. We'll be able to recover most of it. And the projects will get over. Then the higher margins and better projects will contribute more in the last quarter. So when you but say recover, that, uh, when you say recover, wh what do you mean? Will it get back to 7-8% margins by the last quarter, by Q4 of calendar year? On an annualized basis, we are looking at 8% margins for the whole year, this year. Okay. All right. And have you all started that Metro Line 3 execution? That is, I think, uh, we are in the process of starting because this is monsoon. We have to get preparatory work is starting and uh, other things are happening. And next year onwards, I think we would come to normal margin. Oh, so right. I think, uh, they, this is, this, there is, I don't think there is any uh, uh, need for any knee-jerk reaction. I okay. think investors, most of them, they understand mm. the business in our industry, you know. All right. Point taken. Thank you very much for bringing it on board yet again, uh, Mr. Ramnath. Uh, well, so uh, actually if you adjust for that one-time loss uh, of 22 crores and add the 4 crore uh, which they made last year, then perhaps the EBITDA doesn't uh, fall. It actually is flat. Okay.